Hello everybody, this is David with another FPGA video. Um, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to tie an Arduino and drive a signal to the Basis 3 FPGA. And here's the setup for how I'm going to do that. Um, what you need is, what I need is a logic level converter in between the Arduino and the Basis 3. Because the Arduino operates on 5 volt logic as you know. And the basis 3 is on 3.3 volt logic. So you can't just tie the Uno straight into the basis 3 or you mess up your FPGA. So you get this little piece in the middle here called a logic level converter. I've actually set it up on a breadboard and I got a little um, program working. So basically on the Uno I have a simple blink sketch coming out of um, pin 13 which is tied to that LED. So you'll see it. it's a 1 hertz signal. And then that's going through the fourth channel, the channel to the far right, and that's coming out in 3.3 voltage into the basis 3 P mod. And then I uh, have circuitry in that to increment a counter and then show that value on the seven segment display. So let me take you over to some code. All right, here's the Arduino code, real simple. If you know anything about Arduino, uh, I messed with it a little bit, and now I'm into FPGAs, and I just thought it'd be cool to, to mix them up. But this is a simple uh, blink sketch. You just set, um, like any microcontroller, you got to set the I.O. So we're setting output for pin 13, and then the loop, just writing it high, delaying 500 milliseconds, which is half a second, writing it low, and then delaying again another half a second, creating a 1 hertz signal. So here's the Verilog code, uh, what's going to be implemented on the basis 3. So it's going to have that tick-in signal, that one hertz signal from Arduino coming in right here. This is all in just one module. Um, we have a seven segment display driver right here, so segments and the anodes. So, um, I implement a 4-bit counter right here that can count from 0 to 15, so we can represent all the hex values. Um, just right here, every always at the positive edge tick in from the Arduino, we're going to increment the counter. It's just going to continue counting. We'll just set an assign to the anode because we're just using the far right anode and we can just set it low to um, enable the display. And then, based on the value of that counter in this always block in this case statement down here, for whatever value the counter is in hex we will display it and these are all the segment patterns put the segment order right here for zero through f all the hex displays and that's it um, here's the constraints file so i did run this and there, there was a, a warning or an error in implementation and said i should put this in the code this comment right or this first line right here and i did and then it didn't have a problem so kind of helped me solve the problem it was just I'm sure it's some design rule, but it, it's not going to really matter in this little small design here. So here's all the seven segment stuff, the anode, and then pin one on PMOD JB is the tick in from the Arduino. I've already programmed the stuff and I got it sitting right over here um, before. So before I show you the stuff working on the board, here's the logic level converter I'm using. You can see it's not very expensive. It has four channels. So you put the high voltage on one side, the low voltage on the other side, and you can, and it's bi-directional. So you can actually push stuff from uh, basis three onto the Arduino too through this converter right here. Okay, as promised, here it is working. Um, sorry, the video quality is not so good, but you see the Arduino Uno over here on the right. The uh, LED blinking on pin 13, I got that logic coming out and going into one channel on the, this is the logic level converter right here. I did buy a different logic level converter that looks like this, but it didn't really work. So then I got the spark phone one and this one works great. But then on the other channel over here, this is going to the PMOD pin one. It's kind of pulled out there. Let me stick that back in. It's still working, but you can see how every tick of this LED it's driving that counter and we're displaying a value on the seven segment display right here. Um, you just connect power and ground from the P mod right here. It's just a 3.3 volts. 
and then from the 5 volts and ground from the Arduino to those pins right here in the center. Now, before I connected up my basis 3, I, I wanted to make darn sure that this thing worked so it didn't mess it up. So I used a voltmeter, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the readings on here. So, all right. So right here we have from the Arduino channel, you can see 4.9 volts. Now, if I check the logic coming out to that ground, you can see it's switching between pretty much that 5 volts and, and 0. Now over here I have the 3.3 from the basis 3 out the P-mods. And then if I check the logic on that line to that ground, you can see it's switching from, uh, well the red cord's in the way there. but um, Let's see. There you go, you can see it's switching from 0 to 3.3 .3 volts. So, so I made darn sure that I don't have any high voltage going to the basis 3. And this uh, logic level converter works great. Um, but there you have it. Uh, Arduino to base or FPGA basis 3 communication. Thanks for watching.